Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Into the Podcast. I'm your host, Sam, and I'm joined each and every goddamn week by the host, Ryan. All right, Duck. How are you, Pep? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Um, so what I did was, um, people are a big fan of you on this podcast, but people love me more. Obviously. So what I've done is I've cloned myself, <laughs> and there's actually another me here with us today. It is a bit... It's a bit... Um, off putting to be honest because <laughs> we look and sound exactly the same so I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to hearing the audio of this so uh, I've got Puntland Pirate my brother Christopher here with us hello everybody I'm a much fatter version of Sam it's true he is fat <laughs> <laughs> and I am not in that right Ryan yes no, I don't know. Don't put me <laughs> against each other. <laughs> How are you, Chris? All right? I'm all right. It's good to be here. Um, disappointed, though. You know, in my head, Ryan's the one true host. I'll always <laughs> say this. Every week I listen to you spurting how you're the host, and I only come to listen to Ryan. Um, I think Ryan would definitely say no to that. <laughs> are you the host, Ryan? Co-host. <laughs> Co-host. Oh, wait, no, no. I just turn up. You I just turn up. <laughs> but grudgingly. <laughs> against grudgingly. my will. The problem is, if, if Ryan gets host status, he's going to have to do a lot more work. And I'm not about and he that. Doesn't want I, that. I, I'm all about doing as little as possible. <laughs> and you do a great job of it. Thank mate. you. you know, it's about time I got the recognition I deserve <laughs> on this podcast. Uh, so, um, Ryan, how are you? I'm all right. I think we're all a little bit hot. It's fucking hot, mate. So sweaty and horrid. Yeah. You've come from work wearing uh, sports gear. Did you mm. wear that to work today? I didn't. I That's was a shame. I was wearing my my usual work attire. You know, can't be what, smart. What work. colour shirt today? Black, obviously. Oh, of course. Long in this sleeve sun. in Lovely. the sun. Well yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. Right. The rationale behind this is you, you think, oh, black. It's silly wearing black on a hot day, but I need black because it hides the sweat. That Agreed. is clever. Yeah. So yeah. I can't wear my light light grey or a light blue shirt. No. Mental behaviour, exactly. That, so, although it might be a little bit cooler, it's still it, I'm still sweating in this heat, regardless. Yeah, don't make a difference. So, black covers it. But then I have my nice grey checkered trousers on to compensate, you know. And they I bet they're quite breezy, aren't they? Yeah, they're not too bad. But I was in the car, and um, Claire rang Claire, and Claire was like, "Why don't you put your gym stuff on?" I was like, "I didn't even think about that." I'm yeah. a gym stuff. Because I didn't even go to the gym today because I had a meeting at lunchtime. Oh. So, fresh gym kit. I love it. And mate. you know what I, you know what I love that you hate. Driving barefoot. Oh, you did, did you big toe it? Big toe driving. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's fucking grim. It is the I, worst thing on the face of the earth. I'm not even wearing shoes now. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not wearing shoes. I, I, just walk, <laughs> I, I, walk, I walked from the car, which I parked on the road, barefoot to your house. <laughs> what, what I feel we need to do is get a poacher, a poacher, no, a picture <laughs> of Ryan's legs, send them to manager Megan and get them on the socials yep. so everybody can see the legs that we're looking the, at. Yeah. And they're the big, very nicely toned. The be, the big toe that does all my driving. <laughs> I mean, there's certain websites that will pay us for yeah. these. This is where we're going wrong because we're not making enough money. I mean, by enough, I mean any, any. money <laughs> from this podcast. Into the toes. <laughs> it's something else for our Patreon, mate. Yeah, yeah. This Patreon's going to be big. So sign up to Patreon now for exclusive looks at Ryan's big toe. Oh, wait, no, no, don't sign up yet. Megan, make us a Patreon. (laughs) (laughs) Good old manager, Megan. Yeah, Yeah, she's a good girl. Right, so we've got Puntland Pirate with us today. uh, He's been mentioned many times um, on the show. I Mm. think maybe only once not slagging him off. Um, Sounds about right. That's all comes from from you. Well, yeah, I mean, 36 years of living... As his brother, it's uh, it's taken a big toll on me, um, and uh, many years of therapy. <laughs> See, now you <laughs> give me all this abuse, but which one of out of us two does Ryan follow on Twitch? Oh. Uh, I Ooh. believe that's me. <laughs> that is true. How many times have you watched him, Ryan? <laughs> as, probably as many as I've watched you. <laughs> <laughs> The amount of times I've actually logged on to Twitch. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, so we thought, Christopher, that we would pull you in and we would talk a bit of gaming today. Fair enough. Because um, we have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. And, and, you know, Puntland <laughs> Pirate is a, you know, you're into the streaming, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not as much as I used to be. Mm. I used to be very big into it, but as you're going to find out yourself in the next week, I had a baby. Right. I've, I've not had the time. Yeah. So now yeah, it's yeah. a case of, I've got a couple of hours free. I'm playing a game. I'll chuck a stream on. If I don't, I sit and play somewhere offline. And then if the baby needs me, I'm able just to run over. Yeah. So yeah. makes sense. Now and again, you know, I let the baby out the cage and <laughs> I'm free to actually pay attention to it. But yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll learn all about baby cages. They're good things. Right. Okay. I'll I start writing disagree these with down. what Sam said last week. You know, they're too little at the minute to put someone on the floor and say, get me that. 
Yeah. Although my stepson was over the other day, I needed a can out the fridge. I was like, all right, mate, can you go get me a can out the fridge? And he did it. They are good, mate, in six years. Honestly, that's a long time to wait. Six <laughs> years investment, <laughs> right? It's, yes, okay, yeah. yeah. I see, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So you can, I, well, I say you can start being lazy. You can't because you still got cooked from clean for you know all that stuff. But that one time you don't want to bend over and pick something up, they'll be right there. They'll be right there, mate. Yeah, making a mess the other side of the room. And not oh, just that, but... <laughs> not just that. Dad tax, dad tax, dad tax is important. Yeah, yeah. You okay. can. They've got a bag of sweets. Food. Excuse me, I'll have one of them, please. I feel like that works in reverse, though, because I feel like, you know, if you're having your tea or something, they'll probably want bits of that. What have you got, the same as you, that you didn't want and is in the bin now? Can I have some of yours? Mm. Is what you get a lot of. Yeah. I'm also going to teach you the magic words, okay? Can I have a bit? You won't like it. It's spicy. Ah, oh, yeah. Spicy. Yes. Magic word to everything. Kids spicy. spicy. Kids don't like spicy. Just, a, just, an, just an innate fear of yeah. anything <laughs> spicy. Yeah. <laughs> is that chocolate you've got, Dad? Spicy. It's full of chilies. You won't <laughs> like it. Yeah. <laughs> They love it. Anything mint is spicy. Yeah. Anything fizzy, spicy. Mm. All spicy. Mate. A lot of spicy foods in your house. It's all spicy. You eat a lot of spice to say you don't so, like it. Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> a lot of spice. <laughs> uh, so, Chris, Mr. Puntland Pirate, do you want to uh, do a bit of a bit of a soft sell on your Twitch page to our thousands of Twitch users that listen to yes. us every week? Okay, hello to the millions of Twitch users that obviously follow um, Papa Roast 88. Um, I know this gets him a lot of um, following. Yep. Um, yeah, I occasionally, <laughs> <Not funny though>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> occasionally stream on Twitch. A variety streamer. Um, I stream things like Supermarket Simulator, Dead by Daylight, which me and Ryan will get into shortly. And we'll get into Supermarket Simulator. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> that game is good. <laughs> Recently, I will say, because um, I'm a long, long time listener of the podcast, love it. Ryan has been banging on that much about Resident Evil. I went. I'm going to give it a go. So I downloaded number two on mm-hmm. Ryan saying how good it was. I'm currently lost in a police station with no ammo, zombies absolutely everywhere, and I'm too afraid to reload the game. Oh, that, yeah. That's it the first three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it is near the start, yeah. I was going to say, I've only been playing about 20 minutes. I've not even found the big bloke with an at yet. Oh, no. Oh, that he is scary. <laughs> he is scary. Just because you know you can't stop, you can't kill him. No. So he's just... And he just randomly spawns. And you can it's one of them where you hear the footsteps yeah. Ooh, before yeah. you know. And then he'll just walk into the room. Oh, what a bugger. He's a big guy as well. Old Lady Dimitri, or whatever her name is, in the 8th does that. You. Yeah, that's her. You hear her footsteps, her clippy cloppies. Yeah. It's terrifying. She don't dare leave the room. I most, know. most disappointing part of that game was all the announcement for it. Everything showing our dear lady, you know. The ten foot mommy vampire and her being the first boss that you kill and never seeing her again. Mm. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't come back. No, no that's a shame. That, yeah, because that's, that, that's the worst what I, thing about the game. Yeah, because she's very much portrayed to be this big, like the big, the big bad guy of mm. that of that series. Yeah. You certainly, see like a lot of like images and like gifs and people share yeah. a lot of content with her, probably because she's got big boobs. Yeah, oh, and I think that's what it is. Ten foot. Ten foot big with boobs. boobs, big yep. boobs. So they're going to be yeah. massive. Yeah. Uh-huh. And at one point, you go in a bathroom. She has a big bathtub. She's got a massive bathtub. Well, she's a big lady. Looks good. Yeah. She's well, going yeah, to need a big bathtub, isn't she? Daughters, you know, they might turn into bugs, but very, very attractive daughters. Yeah. Yeah. Attractive bugs. Vampire very, bugs. Se- very sexy <laughs> bugs. <laughs> <laughs> but it was mate, it's disappointing because it's like obviously I don't want to give too many spoilers because I know you've not got that far into it. I've only just killed her, so the the bosses that kind of follow on from her. Is it the rest of the family? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought They're so. just not as good. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. None, apart from maybe the last boss and maybe Heisenberg, but like two out of three of them, they're just not great. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel they could have done a lot more with our dear lady. I feel she was really done dirty. It's quite, at least they've got a variety of bosses because I've, I've just played through three again. And I know it's Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. But all you do is fight Nemesis. I was going to say, do you fight like, the Nemesis like, in that one? I like, you li- and that's it. You literally, like, you defeat him, and then he comes back. And then you defeat him again, and he comes back. And every time he's like, gets slightly mutated, different or slightly weapon. different weapon, or different, like, you know, well, that's, he, that's... like you defeat him, and then he's got, like, I don't know, he's morphed into something else. But, you know, after a bit, bit you're a bit like, yeah, I'm bored of fighting the same, yeah, yeah, same yeah. guy now. Let's, let's mix it up that's a little bit. That's just the traditional Resident Evil way, though. It's like, it's the same with, like, the later ones. Lady Demescu. You fight her as this big vampire, then all of a sudden she'll morph into this 
absolute massive thing with wings. Yeah, and, and it's you're... a typical Resident Evil. Oh yeah, what and you're, you're still fighting is... her with a pistol. Yeah, what <laughs> yeah. Like that is never their true form. Yeah, There's exactly. always something underneath. Still rubbing herbs in your pits <laughs> to make yourself feel better. <laughs> <laughs> them, them mixed herbs do help. They bloody do. They are pretty good. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, Resident Evil is hard, isn't it? Because well, what I do really like about it is I'm so used to playing games like COD and even Gears when we played a lot of that. Ammo for days. Oh yeah, yeah. Whereas I do love a game where you got to be so careful with what you use and like in eight, it's very similar to what you was talking about on the last episode of you. You go somewhere, you've not got enough room in your backpack for it. Yeah, you only get so many slots. So you're like, oh, fuck, do I need that? If I do that, I've got to drop this. Exactly. And, and do you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, well, I'll just leave it there. You run back to try and get that ammo and you can't get back to it or yeah. it's, you know, gone away and you're like, fuck. I know, because I'd recently play completed Resident Evil Zero, which is the prequel to the first one. Um, never played it before. I'd heard mixed things. Some people love it. Some people hate it because it's got, um, it's like tank controls. It's the fixed camera. So it's very yeah. much like one, but it's got like... I don't know if you've played it, Chris. That one, the Resident Evil Zero. I don't um, I have. So that's one way. It's, it sh- it should almost be co-op because there's two characters and you control both of them, right. and you can flick between the two. You can just like you know you press Y and you switch between the characters. But um, it's very clunky. It doesn't quite work. It should be a co-op game. I hope they remaster it and make it yeah, an actual yeah, co-op yeah. game. Well, I think they're working their way through all of them. Yeah, currently, so aren't that they? that could work really well. But that's Although, a frustrating. That was really frustrating because in all Resident Evil games, you get like a storage box, don't you? you yeah. Stick your stuff in, and then whatever storage box you access throughout the game, you can, all your stuff's all automatically in that. There isn't that in this one, so you have to drop items, and they stay on the floor. And, and then, then if you, you need it back. later, you have to run the whole length of the map to mm. pick it up to run back. That's and it was ridiculous. so, so frustrating. So it's one of them where I know you always take the piss out of me because I'm a bit of like an achievement hoarder. So like Hunter for I'm one of the things. It's like I want to get every achievement. I want to unlock everything. That one, I've played it what through once and that'll probably be it because yeah, I've yeah. done it to say, because I'm a big fan of the series, to yeah. say I've done it from a story perspective. I know that. I've completed it. Ticked off my list. I am not. I cannot be asked to go back because it's so fiddly. It's just not user friendly. I just can't be back. <laughs> you see, I'm now like, I, I completely that. feel that because I was um I was actually watching a while ago King Kennedy, who obviously has been on the podcast. Yep. Um, he was playing Assassin's Creed. Go back Creed. and listen to that episode. Yeah, have a listen. <laughs> um, I was watching him play Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind playing that. And this was before I had my PlayStation, so I wasn't. I don't, don't achievement hunt on Xbox. It's mainly PlayStation. Right. Yeah. So yeah. The platinum. So I start. I loaded it up, and I went. Actually, now I'm going to go from number one. So mm. I started from Assassin's Creed One. Yeah. Now, by the time he'd finished Assassin's Creed Unity, I'd caught him up. Right. Okay. Wow. Now I've gone all the way from number one up to not the very latest, but the one before Valhalla, where yeah. you play Vikings. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got halfway through that, and exactly the same with how you got after you'd finished Resident Evil Two. I went. I need a break from this. Yeah, I've just played that much of it. I've had to deal with all the beginning games clunky controls where you're trying to parkour up a wall and instead it'll fire you off into a lake somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I just, I haven't got the energy to play this. I know, I know exactly what you mean. And you, you get sort of, I think that's a problem with a lot of gaming. You, you get that almost fatigue when it's yes. just the same game. I, I used to get it with FIFA. Love FIFA. I. There was a phase where we get it every single year and play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But for me, I guess FIFA was always a social game. Like there's probably a, two or three FIFAs where I'd sit and play like the single player stuff and do the do like the the seasons and stuff. But after that, it just I'm like I'm just paying for the same game again, and you just get fatigued. Same, and then COD was the same. Mm, you know, yeah. it was even worse when they were really up against each other when it was Activision and Infinity Ward. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. almost like less than a year before the next one came out, and you're like, oh come on. It's just repetitiveness for the sake of it. And I really struggle with the Assassin's Creed ones. Don't get me wrong. Love the idea of the They're first one. They're very fun. Oh, yeah. And the, the idea that he's plonked in a random part, period in history mm. as an assassin. I love I love that concept. But, yeah, it's just becomes... It's basically the same game masked as something else as, like, a 100%. different period. It's so. the same game. You're in a different period. You've got to assassinate people, find a piece of Eden, end of the game. Yeah, it's exactly. It's the same in every single game. And, yeah, they're fun. They're great. 
the great little, you know, time periods, like you've got Vikings. My my favourite one was the one before the Vikings where you played in ancient Rome. Yeah. That was fantastic. Oh, I've, Just, I've played some that one, yeah. yeah, Odyssey. Absolutely amazing <clears throat> game. The control system was good. The yeah. fighting style was good. Is that the one where he was hanging off his cock? That was the one that you mm. caught me on stream hanging. One of the first things you could do, one of the very first leap of faith you can do is hang off a statue's penis. And, of course, that was the first like thing I did. Like a massive ancient... Oh, room. right, like and an like ancient, ancient stone. Like, yeah, like, statue. Greek like the stuff. thinking man type thing. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and he just had this massive dong and I went into Chris's stream and his character was first just dangling, thing he saw uh, yeah. dangling his belly. on a penis. Of course, of course. I've got a picture of him on my phone. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hello, what's, what's happening here? What's going on here? Yeah. Is this a child-friendly <laughs> stream? <or? laughs> ah, reminds me of genital jousting, which we've still not played. Do you know what? I was going to buy that the other day. Day just to play it with you because I've known about genital jousting for years and nobody had ever heard of it. Well, so no, hearing no. you guys go on about it, I'm like, I need to get this game now. I've still never seen you play it. You know, maybe if you stream that, Sam, I'll, I'll give I'll you a little follow on, um, on Twitch. Right. Maybe I'm not committing. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it with you, Sam. Don't worry, we've got this. All right, we'll give it a go then. I I know you won't commit to it, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, because why not? Because you are a stubborn little shit, and I if am. you say that I'm never following. Following you, you will never. I've never me. said never. <laughs> he just never said he would either. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Never said never, but also <laughs> never said ever. So exactly. So we're just in a sort of grey area with it. Yeah, it might happen. Bit, it might not. Um, but I have decided that I'm going back to Pal World. Really, I, I am as well. Yeah, there's loads of updates for it, and I saw someone streaming it the other day, and I was like, oh, "Fuck, I love that." And obviously, it just kind of got a bit repetitive, a bit boring. That was yeah, I guess. So, so I'm going to go back to playing a bit of that. I think Pokemon. Minecraft, yeah, like, sort of, yeah. hybrid, well, yeah. a hybrid sort of game. Like I never got into it. You were really pushing for us to get into that because you I were ob- bought it because of him. You, yeah, Sam, you were obsessed with that it's game. Good though, isn't it? It's oh, really it's, good. It's very fun. Um, for me, it was just a little. I started playing it, and my first time playing it was on a stream, and I'd got about five people that had played it before saying, do this, do this, do this. Right. And I kind of lost the love instantly because I'm like... I was one of them. I <laughs> and I was doing it. And I was doing it to be a dick. Because <laughs> when you load into a game for the first time, you want to explore it. You want to find the things you out for fi- yourself. Yeah, that's it. You want to so find your I've own way. i assholes like him and some other people saying, no, no, you don't want to do that. You want to go over here. I'm like, do you know what? I don't want to play this anymore And he didn't now. have to go over there at all. No. no yeah. He was going the right way the first time. <laughs> <laughs> But it's all good fun, isn't it? It is. Talking um, about games, mm. have you seen a new movie release that has come out based on a video game? Yeah, I've not seen it. I no. have not. Uh, Borderlands. Borderlands. Now, if anyone doesn't know who's listening, obviously the Borderlands movie has come out to a 0% Rotten Tomato oh, score. It's that's so mate. bad. One 0%. One of my favourite game franchises of all time. It, people go mad for it. It's a loved franchise. Well, the, thing, the biggest issue, and I said this to Sam before we started, they took... One of the best castings in that game, they got Jack Black to play Claptrap the robot. Mm -hmm. Perfect casting. Then Roland, who is like six foot two, built like a brick shithouse. They got Kevin Hart, who's two foot nothing. Mm -hmm. Lilith, who's this cute young siren. They got, what's her bloody name? Jamie Lee Curtis. No, the other one. Kate Kate Blanchett. Blanchett. I saw and that. Then, I, yeah. Again, Tannis, who early thirties, Jamie Lee Curtis. They basically raided an old lady's house and said, "Do you want to be in this movie?" I saw. I've seen loads of stuff on Facebook being shared about that. Actually, it was a couple of like it was a comparison pictures yeah. from the game next to this, and people saying stuff like that, like, "Oh, they've raided like the nursing home to get these actresses." Yeah. And even people were like, "Cause I'm a big, I like Kate Blanchett. We quite like we like Jamie Lee Curtis. I love she was, Jamie and, Lee and, Curtis. and they're, they're both great actresses." Yeah. And but everyone, even people like that with their fans were like, love these as actors, complete wrong casting. Oh, hundred percent. It's a weird one for me because I'm I've never really played the Borderlands games. I think I had to go on the first one, so I'm not like emotionally invested in that series. So I'm not protective of it. Yeah. But even when I saw the trailers, I thought this looks shit. I was yeah, gonna go yeah. see it. Yeah. Then I saw the reviews and I went. I'll wait till that's streaming. I yeah, think that's 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 and, and wait for it to come out. And, and we've talked about game adaptations in the past, haven't we? And they very, very rarely get it right. And I don't know why, because there's so much you can do. I, I think looking at the trailer for this one, it 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 felt it felt like the humour was forced. hundred percent. Like it, you know, you you casting people like Jack Black, Kevin Hart, like that. 
I guess they've got a track record for getting laughs and, you know, they've worked together on like Jumanji and mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's family-friendly action. But is Borderlands family-friendly no, action? No, no, no. Games aren't, is no. it like... I, my interpretation was it was a bit like adult themed humour but like still a little bit light heart and not overly like serious cartoony but, Mad like, Max. but yeah. like cartoon Mad Max that's yeah. it a little bit of everything they're not they're not ridiculously vulgar yeah I think they're a 15 I believe mm-hmm. um, there are sex jokes and things yeah, like that yeah, there's yeah. nothing too vulgar in them but I just I feel the whole thing has kind of been massively dumbed down yeah and the, it kind yeah my impression was they've kind of turned it into a little bit more Fortnite. is it Eli Roth yeah. who's directed it no idea I quite oh. I quite like Eli Roth oh, um, so do I I'm sure I've read it was Eli Roth and yeah. it's so I'm because he's just completely misunderstood the assignment. Yeah, and that's that's a shame. Because especially because people are protective of, of franchises they love. Well, I'm I'm only here to protect Alone in the Dark. Best, yeah. best video game movie ever made. <laughs> I'm joking. It was god awful. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> Chris, Christian Slater was it? It was Eli Roth. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, it was Christian Slater. I've never seen the film. Oh, never man, ever you seen have to it. Watch it. I, it's got, it's it's got something. Like, it's got time. something like two point nine on IMDb. Yeah, you've got to watch it. Why is it so bad though? Because I played it Alone just, in the Dark. It, I never played the original. I played like the remake they did around sort of two thousand and nine. It just completely misses the point. One of the games. Two point four. <laughs> two point four. That is a, so bad. As a movie, it just sucks. There's yeah, just the nothing. acting bad, the graphics bad, like ev- everything that you go to watch in a film is horrendous. Right. So it can't be like, oh, you know, yeah, the acting's a bit dog shit, but some good effects or some good storyline, none of it was good. And I feel like, I, I feel like it's that what must have been early 2000s that Alone in the Dark when it came out. So I, I feel like, I don't know if it's directly linked or not, but 2005. I can't think of Christian Slater re- in anything really post that film. No, no. I Did that film kill Christian Slater's career? Because in the 90s, he was in everything. Christian Slater. Uh, yeah, I suppose. He was a bankable star. Yeah, well, yeah, he was. Yeah, looking at his <laughs> thing here. Not finding much 2000 onwards. Um, like he probably, he's probably one of them that's popped up in loads, but... There's not really been anything he's big in. So. Mr. Robot 1, I think it's quite big in that. Everyone liked him in Yeah, that. maybe that was his that. return. But like, it's just interesting that, I don't know. Is, is can... that one film enough to kill someone's career? I think, yeah. I've it, seen it, yeah. With a 2.4 rating. Yeah, it can, it can easily happen. Yeah. I mean, which... I can tell you one video game movie that I still remember to this day. I remember going to watch it at the cinema. Um, still live with my mum and dad at the time. Yeah. Um, and I remember I came home and made my dad put something happy on the TV because I was petrified. Okay. And that was Silent Hill. Oh, oh, you look know what? Film. What a movie. That, Even now, it yeah. still stands up. I really like that film because, again, it's based on, for those that don't know Silent Hill, a horror survival game. Very very much in the same sort of world as Resident Evil. It's a little bit less like zombies, but it's more supernatural. Supernatural, supernatural. but like these horrific abominations. And I never played that. I sort of went more down the Resident Evil route. I've played little bits of Silent Hill and they are terrifying games. Well, you'd be pleased to know that the second one's being remastered Uh, and coming out soon. Yeah, which is good. I'm 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 excited excited for that. I'd like to play them because they're a series I've never touched on. But as a film, I really like that. I feel like it falls under the radar. It's like a little bit of a B-movie horror. Mm. Yeah. But holds up in its own right. Great tension. And that's what I like. The graphics were great. The tension was great. It just feels, you just feel on edge. Like, you just feel uncomfortable throughout that whole film mm-hmm. and some great sequences. Sequel, not as good. Sequel was not as good. Still liked it. Revelations. It was, well, that was the one that had Pyramid Head in, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I still because liked it. Pyramid yeah. Head is one of my all time favourite video game villains. I absolutely adore him. Yeah. You know, I main him on Dead by Daylight as a killer. You know, he is daddy. I love Pyramid Head. Yeah. Um, I, it was okay, but it wasn't anywhere near it didn't no. give me the same feeling as the first no oh, you see it did me it did it, get, it gave me the creepy vibes still. i just didn't think storyline was as great would well, you know but why I, still, I don't I still thought it captured silent hill very well do you right. know why i don't think it did 
that came out at the time that 3D had just hit cinemas. Mm. So it was Silent Hill Revelations 3D. 3D, I do remember so the advertising for that. it was a big thing that. of trying to make things work in 3D. And they forced that with a lot of yeah. horror. I can remember, what was the one with Jensen Ackles in? It was oh, something My like, Bloody Valentine. My Bloody, Bloody Valentine, Valentine yeah. 3D. Yeah. Exactly yeah. like you said, it was just like, it was just like in your face. Not, a bad, was it 3D? not a bad film though. No, but it was one of them where it was just... Oh, it, it was. <laughs> oh, in cinema team. I liked it. It, it, it was made... <laughs> It was just made, perhaps, I don't know, worse, or because they made it just gimmicky for 3D. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's like an old miner. He's got a pickaxe, and he'll just, like, the pickaxe comes out Ooh, of the screen. Like, oh, yeah. He's firing at the screen. And no, the no, 3D no. was a bit shit, to be honest, because yeah. it was still quite new. But, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the Silent Hill. Very hard to get hold of. I got Blu-ray copies of them. They're not on any streaming sites. You oh, can't no. buy them on Amazon Prime. That's weird. I managed to... I had to buy copies, I think, from Amazon, but they were from Germany. Oh, really? And then I bought them. I got them over, and then they started playing, and there was... I could not find an option to turn it into English. <laughs> I was like, fuck! Because normally, you think, it's fine. As long, yeah. as, you, as, long as you get whatever... A, 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 a region a, free. A region free or anything that will play in the region in the UK region. It's fine because you can just change the, yeah, the, be the language. Yeah, there'll options for languages. Luckily, I managed to find it and it's only because I pressed a random button on the Xbox mm. and it just changed the language. So I was like, <laughs> I don't, I've not tried it again. I'm just hoping it automatically plays in English again. All I know so is I want to borrow it off you because <laughs> I want to hear Pyramid Head in German now. <laughs> I wonder why that is then. I'm just having a flick through. I'm wondering why... Is it rights or could be down it's to the right? Probably rights? something down. Yeah, with it would be something to do with the distribution laws of whatever film company made it yeah. and their distribution laws in the UK. Because some films you just can't get. Mm. Um, it's yeah, it's really difficult to. But again, amazing movie. Uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, the most shocking thing about Re- is about Silent Hill. It's got a film with Sean Bean in it, and he survives. Yes, he did. it does. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often, but when it very does, rarely, very rarely. Fan. It's a great cast as well. Yeah, Sean oh, Bean. I can't remember cast. who's the lead actress. I don't think it was anybody uh, massively well known at the time. Was it? An- annoy me. Uh, I'm on the wrong app. Oh, I've got rid of it. Now. <laughs> no idea. I know. Um, sure. The woman from Walking Dead was the police officer, La- Laurie Holden. Oh, Laurie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the woman from Walking Dead doesn't really narrow it down because there's a lot of women. In 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 my head, I knew exactly (laughs) which woman it was. But yeah. Uh, Radha Mitchell. That's it, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the mum from Man on Fire. Yes. God, that film's fucking good as well. I've not seen that. That's one another one. I've never seen Man on Fire. I've only seen it once and I need to rewatch it because I feel like I didn't appreciate it as much at the time because people go mad for it. Denzel (laughs) Washington, isn't it? In. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's always one of those, you know, when you, the whole would you rather have X or uh, you know X or Y, and it's always Taken or Man on Fire. I think Man on Fire is more classy version of Taken. Right. I think Taken focuses more on the action. Yeah, but there's a lot of action in Man on Fire. But I just think there's more deep storyline to it, and it to me, I don't, I don't know whether it's just the storyline to do with a younger girl because he plays a um, like security guard instead of it being his own daughter. But I think the relationship between Creasy and the young girl is just a little bit better. I'm more invested into Man on Fire, but oh fuck, it is a classic film. You got to get it watched. Yeah, well, I, I do really want to rewatch. It. I think the problem with that film is I, when I went into it, people were like, "Oh, it's unbelievable! It's like one of the greatest films of all time." And then you go in with that hype, and you know, and you're a bit like, "I found myself, I, I don't know, like maybe like half paying attention, a bit like, yeah, this isn't as good as everyone made out.' Oh, so it'd be really? nice to rewatch yeah, yeah, without yeah. the hype." Um, and I, I watched it years and years later. I didn't watch it when it first came out. Sometimes you just m- miss it when it's really big. I don't know. Well, I've never been as big as like a film guy as like yourself and Ryan. My Ooh, my knowledge me. of movies now is me listening to this podcast or messaging Sam and saying, "All right, mate, what am I watching tonight?" Yeah, yeah and yeah. I'll still remember listening to you guys going on about the Terrifier. Oh, yeah. And I thought, Do you know what? I'll give it a go. <laughs> And my wonderful partner was sat watching it with me. 
Then we watched a woman get sawn in half from V to face yeah, yeah. in front of our very eyes. And she looked at me and went, what the f- is this? <laughs> and I was like, blame my brother. Two months, 13 days, mate. New one comes out. Until the new one. Until the new one. Oh, no way. Is it getting a cinema release? I fucking hope so, mate. I'll be shocked because they're proper. They're not even B movies. They're, they're like huge C now. movies. Well, but no, they've, no got cult, they've got a huge cult. They've got a huge cult. I th- I thought they had for the third one. I thought I read something the other week that said, "Oh uh, no, it got dropped, didn't it? It got dropped. Did it after get dropped? Seeing the opening scene or yeah, something? It got the dropped. Company dropped it. Yeah, it got dropped on the opening scene, and he just went, "I don't need you. I'll, I'll do." He it. made it's the fine. first two without anybody, didn't yeah. he? And he does all the like, he does everything, doesn't he? He yeah. makes does all the prosthetics. Yeah, he yeah, does yeah, all yeah. the gore, like yeah. Uh, f- you wouldn't sell out, would you, for the third one? Oh, you just hell you, no. like it's getting no, bigger no, no. and bigger. Like I'm I said, so, he, I'm, so far I'm excited for that. For me, it was just worth it. For the look in my partner's face, <laughs> watching that one scene, she looked horrified, it is and horror. she doesn't like yeah. horror movies at the best of times. Oh, picked a good one for her to watch. Her though. face. <laughs> <was a> picture. <laughs> Have you seen the second one yet, Chris? I haven't yet. Oh. No, I it's think a long it's a film. Two it, and a half hours. Isn't it's it? probably too long. Yeah, but yeah. it's it takes it it ups it in every way, doesn't it? Oh God, yeah. It I'm, takes I'm it all to the next I'll oh, watch yeah. it one night Fantastic while she's actress. she's doing a stream or something. Mm. I'll I'll have my daughter on. My oh, it's well worth it. Watch it with me. <laughs> it's it's just the first one on every drug you can imagine. Yes, uh, in it. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Just yeah, it's unreal. Um, right, should we take a quick break and do a snack? Because are, we, are we bringing someone out his box? We're going to bring little Drew out his box because I'm getting hungry. I'm, I'm excited. getting hungry too. Um, because obviously it's Puntland Pirate here. I didn't feed him. <laughs> <laughs> I normally feed the guests, but uh, King Kennedy fucking, got pizza. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but unfortunately, I'm sick of paying for all the guest pieces. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you can fuck off. Unless Ryan's putting his hand in his pocket. <laughs> I, haven't got any, I haven't got any money in these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> no no work clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Here come Sam and Ryan, listen to them both speak. They've come for hours all with their pop culture critique. But are you even a nerd if you don't overread? So come on, everybody, it's the snack of the week. <laughs> There's our little Drew ski. Little boy Drew. Little boy Drew with his little hat. I'm assuming he owns a little hat. I think he has probably lots of little hats. Do you know what he does have? What does he have? Orange trousers. Does he have orange trousers? Yes. And if you want to see pictures of his orange trousers, oh, yeah. check out his social media account, Drew Flanagan Music, on Instagram and, and Facebook. Facebook. I think he even might be on our social media accounts so follow, so check follow us, us, well, check, yeah. us check us out into the podcast but the problem on is on instagram ev- everything, and facebook and stuff i think the problem is though once you've kind of like seen drew and you've seen his orange trousers you're going to be like i'd like to hear his music yeah that's the problem so like, music, can you? i bet his music sounds orange oh i bet it does and can you hear his music you can yeah where all the good places <laughs> is it on the one that i have on my iphone Apple Music. I could listen to him on my iPhone. Absolutely, you can listen Perfect. to him on your iPhone. What about me that uses Amazon? You know what? Don't you worry. He's on Amazon Music too. I've well, got what, Spotify what? on my PC. Can I listen to him on Spotify? Well, it's funny you should mention that because I have Spotify on my phone and that's where I listen to Drew Flanagan no Music. No way. Yes. Oh my God. But the problem is, so you could like look at a picture of him mm. and listen to his music, but what if you're like, oh, well, I'd like to see this picture move. Moving pictures? Yeah. That's a crazy <laughs> idea. But don't you worry. <laughs> you can do that too. On www.youtube.com forward slash Drew Flanagan Music, probably. probably. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but, but I yeah. love this segment every week. <laughs> but yes, you can do that too. And you can see moving pictures. I love moving. The, with the, sound. The talkies. The talkies. <laughs> Great invention. Yeah, they're bloody good, aren't they? Well, thanks, Drew. Uh, Chris, feed us them. <laughs> okay, so um, last minute I got asked to come on, so I was like, I'm not going to the shop, so I looked to see what I could order. Um, I know you like a bit of spice. I'm going to regret this because I hate the mastication that comes <laughs> from your mouth. <laughs> but I've got you some Walker's Max Strong Hot Chicken Wing Crisps. Oh, they sound good. Oh, they do, and they've got fire. The picture is of a crisp on fire. Wow. That's just uh, what we want on a hot day. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Spicy. Give don't, them, don't give them s- to your children. They don't <laughs> smell overly spicy from the old whiff. No. They smell chickeny. They do. Give me a big handful. <laughs> and grab a couple. All right, well, um, I'm not going to go into the microphone and eat. I am. <laughs> me so, too. Chin chin. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, 
Okay. I'm getting the kick. Mm. There's a bit of a kick, yeah. A little one, yeah. It's coming a bit more of a, as an after, an afterburn. It tastes of chicken skin. I fucking love chicken skin. Though. So do I. Mm. That's what I mean, but it's more of a chicken skinny flavour than a chicken wing. But mm. chicken wings, I've got chicken skin. They have around them, yeah. That's what holds the meat in. Nice. <laughs> Is that what skin does? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's why I've got so much meat. Excess skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just got too, too much skin, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, yeah, right, right, then. Right, yeah. Yeah. Mm. right. Well, tier system what's time. This? We have a little tier system. Oh. Max Rom. strong mm. hot chicken wings. Do you think the strong is referring to the flavour or the spice? I think it's the flavour. Yeah. Would you say it's a strong flavour? Not overly. If I'm honest with you. It's Personally, I think the spice overtakes the flavour. I mm. think. Mm. Well, I'm barely getting that. There's a little bit there. There's a little bit. They're good, though. They're, they I'm enjoying nice. them. Oh, yeah, I like them. They're not the strongest flavours. Very well powdered. Yeah. But, yeah, they're seasoned well enough. There's a bit of a... Yeah, a bit of a kick to them as well. The score may be knocked down just because it said strong. And we don't like liars on this podcast. Yeah. True. Well, the tier system, Chris, what is it? So you got top tier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got, is it love that? Yes. Yeah. Well done. Then I'd have it again. Yeah. Nice. Then if I have to. Correct. Yeah. And then in the bin. In the bin. Yeah. 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 Nice. You see, you every you... week when you are looking up what Better it is, yeah, I'm yeah. saying <laughs> it. Right. Into my phone oh, yeah. every week. <laughs> I was going to say, like, you know it better than us, because uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I think it's obvious I do listen to you now, and I don't yeah. make it up. <laughs> so I'll start with you, then, Chris. Where would you put it on that tier? I want the top. I'd go second. I love that. Love that. Right. I think... If, uh, yeah, go on, Chris. Come. Sorry. If, if the flavour had been stronger, like it says, it would have been top tier for me. Mm. But because, like we said, liars, love that. I think I agree. I quite love that. Mm. Um, maybe what was in what? What's the next one down? I'd have that again. Yeah, yeah, maybe there. I don't know if I'd buy them, but I don't really buy crisps that often. Mm, that's the thing I do. You see, I like me crisps. I do, and I do like do I like them. Mm. If they pair them as well with a nice dip. Oh yeah, sour yeah. cream dip because they got a little bit of a kick to yeah, them. Yeah, sour cream dip. Yeah. So I was thinking, I'd have that again because of the lies, but. You see that massive picture of a crisp on the front? Yeah. Not actual size. Ah. <laughs> so they've brought it back. Yeah. So the, <laughs> they've brought it back. They've let us know that this crisp, massive crisp isn't the right size. <laughs> <laughs> it can sit in love, that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, good, that. I did yeah. bring a second snack, yeah, you but did, we yeah. can't drink it because I brought, obviously, Puntland Pirate. I was going to say, what do pirates drink, Ryan? Rum. Well, I bought, brought, <laughs> yeah, I bought a bottle of red wine. But you're driving, so we can't drink it. So Sam's brought flavoured water. <laughs> what What do pirates drink, right? In rum. I brought red wine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not drinking it. Yeah. yeah. It makes, it makes no, no sense. sense. <laughs> it does make sense. <laughs> I'm a gentleman pirate. Um, but I did buy this specifically for the podcast because obviously I knew, um, I didn't know Chris was coming on. So a lot of like the podcasts I watch, the big, big podcasts, they've all got in front of them in the videos a kind of liquid death. Right. I initially thought liquid death was an alcoholic drink, then found out it wasn't. So I assumed it was uh, an energy drink. And since then, I found out that it's actually just sparkling water. Interesting. With a hint of flavor. So I thought, you know, we'll give it a go. We'll tell them how great it is, and then they can sponsor us. Yeah, because clearly the sponsorship's working for the other podcast, because so, you've gone out and bought some. Well, exactly, and they were in Aldi. <coughs> that always helps. If they're in Aldi, they've got my customers. It does always help. Well, so, it looks like sparkling water. It does look like sparkling water. You know what my issue is straight away? Go on. Sparkling water. What the fuck is sparkling oh, water? Uh, yeah, go on. Why is sparkling oh, water shit. a thing? Well, yeah. No. Couldn't agree more. It's, it's for the toffs, isn't it? I don't get it, though. It's for the toffs. It's not refreshing. The fancy people like Why? it. Why? What's I it doing? Know. It's unnecessary. I went for breakfast the other day with our old friend Ria, 
Ryan. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was lovely. And we sat down and she went, oh, can I have a... Can I have Course. a... Nah, you know a green I... tea and a sparkling water. I went, you dickhead. Yeah. Grow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turn up in your jag and then you order a sparkling water. Honestly. <laughs> Some people. So this is a liquid death, severed lime. Murder your thirst. 500 mil can. Quite expensive. £1.50 for a can of this. That is expensive for mm. water. It is expensive for a fucking fizzy water. That, that's what you're paying for, the fizz. Yeah, exactly. So I can only assume this is going to be great. We're going to say how great it is, and then they're going to sponsor this podcast. Yep. Yeah, so lime, yeah, after we've just slagged it off for the last five minutes. Slight, slight smell of lime. Yeah. Not too strong. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Still s- smells of chicken skin. Okay. Ah, bloody wonderful, that. I um, think I think we should order a hundred more. <laughs> okay, um... As much as I'd like to be sponsored by Liquid Death, <laughs> I don't ever want to put that in my mouth again. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> again, I stand by what I was saying before. Why the fuck is sparkling water a thing? When you drink water, it's supposed to taste of water. I without know. you don't want bubbles in your water. But they're not even good bubbles. No, they're like they're like it's bubbly but flat. Yeah, it's I weird. can I can only assume that. Let's say you've got some friends around your house for dinner, right? You make a big meal for everyone. Right. You then wash the dishes. A lot of dishes to be washed. Yeah. So you know at the end the water gets a bit gunky and horrible and a bit horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you drank it, drank that <laughs> dish water afterwards, I bet it tastes like this. Probably, yeah. Yeah. A bit of bubbles in there from the like, leftover from the washing up liquid. Exactly. That's what gives it the fizz. Yeah. Um, and I can still taste a little bit of chicken meat from the crisps, which is probably in that water in, as the, well. in water, yeah. The <laughs> grease from where you cook the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're still drinking it, though. I'm very thirsty. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not. That's the problem. I'm thirsty and I've run out of can of pop. So it's going down and then I'm done with it forever. I know where that's going on my system. It, yeah. In the bin, mate. Yeah, I've been in it. I think I'm been in it. It's, uh, but that's not a reflection on necessarily on liquid death. All, no, hang on, hang all, on, hang um, on. Bloody whatever, what, sparkling water. Can, going can on the bin. we just make a point? We're saying it's going in the bin, okay? So we're putting that on the same level as apple juice. Apple, apple milk. milk, sorry. That apple milk was so much worse. I've not tried but, the apple milk, so I'm but curious it's fine. to you two. It's fine because there are levels of it being shit in there. You know what I mean? You, it doesn't mean just because it's in the bottom tier, it's the exact same as something right. else. Like it's dog shit. Because you couldn't go. Little moons are exactly the same as a twirl. No, because they're not. This you know is, what I mean? is yeah. probably a tier within the tier. Yeah, which yeah. we're not going into. Tierception. <laughs> yeah, tierception. I'm not going into that. <laughs> yeah, we're not going. Manager Megan, can you work <laughs> out a tierception? That's, yeah. that's a five episode think of that one. <laughs> that's going to take five episodes to think that one up. Um, What's our fourth tier? If I'd have to, if I have to, but then if someone gave you that and said, "I don't have any normal water, I have this," would you drink it? If I was thirsty and it was all that was available, yes, I'd, I'd go to a shop. I probably if I if I had to, I probably would. But that's would. like gun to the head. If you had gun to the head, it's you'd like have it's apple like today. Milk. I'm probably going to drink it because it's thirty degrees yeah. and I'm thirsty. So are we going for that then? Are we? If I have to. But then you could say that about a lot. Of, a lot of things could drop into if I have to. Like if you were starving, mm. you're going you're going to eat anything really if you had to. I think it's still I'm putting it in the bin. I would yeah. never. I would never buy that. Yeah, well, agree with that. luckily for you, Ryan, there is another can with a different flavour in the fridge for another episode. Hey! <laughs> the one that, you, in, whilst we're in between recording, you said tastes like arsehole. <laughs> it does. That one tastes of arsehole, not dish soap. I'm so pleased I'm not going to be here to try that. <laughs> mm. Right, well, uh, yeah, so something good, something bad. Should we move on and get a top five from our Christopher here? Yes, let's do that. Let's get little Drew out of the box again. Sing us in, Drewby. No. <laughs> Thanks, Drewby. So, uh, the idea of top five, every now and then, me and Ryan like to chuck a top five in, don't we, mate? Yeah. We all know what that is. Just our top five favourite of a subject. Yes. So, what we do is, when we have a guest, is we get them to go through our list of top fives that we've done in the past, pick five of them topics, and pick their favourite. So, it's not their top five, but it's still five, so it counts. And it's a top. Yeah. That's how top fives work. (laughs) (laughs) So, Chris, what you got first? Okay, so first I've gone for villain. Okay. I've gone for the jigsaw. 
from the Saw movie. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Talk, us, talk through us through it. Talk us through it. Well, some could argue that he's not a villain because of the reasons that he does the kills. Yeah, wrong people. <laughs> but at the same time, you've, you've got you've you've got your villains out there like you know Freddy Krueger and things like that, and it's all so samey. Mm. With Jigsaw, there's nothing samey. You don't know it's coming. You've got no idea you're going to be there. You don't know what's going to happen, and it just adds more horror and yeah. torture to you. It's scary. I'm going to eat crisps. I'm that scared. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's why I've gone Jigsaw. That's my thought process. That's a fair that's one. And, you know, he's he probably one of the better villains that's built a franchise in the last Absolutely. sort of twenty years. You know, you think a lot of like the iconic, especially horror villains, you like your Freddy Kruegers, yeah. your Mike Myers. They're they're old school in terms of like eighties villains. Really, <laughs> I, I can't think of anyone sort of like this century that's perhaps been better than Jigsaw. No, no, no I can't. Like, I, like I said, built a whole franchise, not just on him, but obviously like the the method of it is the uh, method of his kills, isn't it? The way oh, yeah, he does 100%. it, the, it's the setup behind it all, the games. Yeah. And that even that there, oh, you know, want to play a game is it's iconic. Oh, everyone absolutely. knows that now. Um, and also, everyone knows what he looks like, John Kramer. But also, you then have the mask of Billy the Clown, yes, which I, which I really like as a as a concept as well. Yeah, because how many Saw films have there been now? Ten, ten, ten. ten including a spin off, I believe. Uh, Spiral. Yes. God, that was so bad. Yeah. Oh, no, Chris Rock. You don't need to do this. <laughs> was yeah. he in another one, Chris Rock? Mm, unless he was in the newest one, but no, he wasn't. He didn't. He produced Spiral. He yes. got the rights to it, didn't he? Yeah. And produced it. Right. Okay. It's from the book of Saw, yeah, so yeah. it's not a direct thing, but in the same universe. You're right. Okay. He should take a hint from the book of Stop. <laughs> 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 okay. Ready for the next? I was good. That. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the next is video game. Oh, tough, tough one to get. Easy for me. Go on. Fable. The, which one? The original. Ah, oh, yes. One of my absolute, just everything about that game. He's only yep. saying it because he bums you. Man. I'm not. Oh, Ooh, it's it's an Fable. unbelievable game. That's that podcast when you were talking about Fable was just bringing back so many memories yeah. to me of having a first Xbox and oh, playing the yeah. Lost Chapters. And it's so good. I've recently replayed all three again as well. I nice. really wanted to trophy hunt them, but you're locked out of a lot of them now because a lot of them are online and you can't get the I know. You, items. Yeah. But yeah, Fable, really excited for the new one. Can't wait to see what they do with the new one. I'm hoping it's going to be great because so far, the couple of the trailers, like the humour is perfect. It's very like <laughs> yeah. British humour. They've always Richard had... Richard Yeah. He's brilliant in everything he does anyway. I adore him. He is, yeah. And they've always had great British actors and yep. like comedians in it. Like Steam Fry has been a recurring character in a lot of them. Yeah. Like, yeah, the first one, though, is the best one by, by far. Uh, they've got it remastered, so... That, I, I was one I recently. I think it, I think I trophy hunted that one last year. And I got also all disagree when Sam said he'd never played it because he did have it on the original Xbox. <gasps> Lies. We he said we not, don't he like may liars. Not remember I've it? Never played it. Yeah, I'm going to say he may not remember it because it was a long time ago. But he definitely had it because that's where I first played it. I borrowed it off him. Oh, no, <laughs> definitely never played it because I remember you might watching have got it, you just play never played it. Yeah, yeah. no, I never played it. it. Yeah, but yeah, that's why when I was listening to you, I was like, I borrowed it off you. Oh. To the play. original Xbox or the 360? The original, original Xbox. Xbox. Oh, right. That's no. what the very yeah. first one was on. All yeah, right. That was but the whole then... reason. That game was the whole reason I and and a Halo actually. Halo. It was the whole reason I got an Xbox because yeah. Drew had it, and um, I was like, oh my god, I need this game. Mm. I need this game. Drew Flanagan. Of Drew Flanagan music. music, yeah. We like Drew Flanagan music. <laughs> we do. Where can we? No. no <laughs> that. We've already done that. <laughs> Next, I went for one that will make Sam happy. I went for Nicolas Cage movie. <gasps> yeah. I've gone for The Rock. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Absolutely amazing film. Good story. Sean Connery, great. Sean in Connery's he does great. As well. Michael Bean, legend. Yeah. Just good story, good acting. Yeah. Just it's just a great, great action movie. film. It's, yeah. it's probably my, one of the greatest action films of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. It, was, it was number two on my list. I just found my old list. Was it really? Nice. Yeah, Mandy was number one. It, um, See, I still haven't finished Mandy. Oh. I need to finish it. Yeah, it's a I great film. I started watching it, but I would think I was watching it with Soph, and she had no interest, so got turned off. Yeah. Going back to The Rock, though, <laughs> that is one of my all-time comfort films oh, like absolutely, I, I would yeah. i will stick that on whether it just to be on the back in the background or like 
I would stick that on to fall asleep to, or if I just sit, want to watch it, I will sit and watch it from start to finish. It's a very that, good movie. Uh, very uh, arguably, arguably my top ten greatest films of all, my favorite yeah. films of all time. Mm, amazing. Which, yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It is, it's, mate. It's, it's a lot. I know we sat around your dad's house doing this. Oh god, <laughs> you nearly had a fucking meltdown. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> but every time I do that, it'd be different. Oh, we we said that though. Didn't yeah. We? yeah. Yeah. Go on, then. What's next? Uh, next is pop culture weapon. Nice. I don't, I don't recall if anyone said it before, but I've gone for Lucille. Okay. Lucille, yeah, Negan's, the, Negan's bat. bat. Ah, of course, yes. With the barbed just, wire. Yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, Walking Dead. The Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Yeah. Obviously, again, I don't like giving away spoilers. Um, but, but there's a lot big of scenes with big, it. very big scenes. Very big. Scenes. Big characters are involved with that. Have close encounters with Lucille. Oh yeah. yes, my my girlfriend. If I play the song Easy Street, actually goes into an anxiety attack now and cries. Why oh, is that from Walking Dead? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I I didn't. I stopped watching. Mm. It, I watched that episode, but I stopped watching Walking Dead well before that. I watched. Yeah. I stopped watching it the season after that. Mm. Oh, yeah, you, you see, we just started watching them, but the song Easy Street from an episode with Daryl, if I play that while Soph's around, she will literally start crying. It wow. triggers her that badly. Wow. Mm. Interesting. But yeah, yeah. Lucille, just... Yeah, but, and I feel like that's become sort of like, even if you don't know the name, the idea of like a bat Covered wrapped, in blood. Covered in... Yeah. Ra- wrapped, wrapped in, in barbed wire. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. It's, it's almost become the like de facto the, zombie yeah, weapon. The weapon of a zombie apocalypse. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Um, and the last one I've gone is character you would be friends with. Dean Winchester. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Cannot think of anybody else I would like to be friends with than Dean Winchester. That is a great answer. That's a top tier answer. And not just The Dean fact Win- that you're looking like that is a sh- you should be ashamed of yourself, Sam Buckthorpe. From the Winchesters? <laughs> Close. Supernatural. Supernatural. Never seen it. Oh, it's so good. It's not brilliant. only do I say Dean Winchester, but Jensen Ackles. As well, yeah, like, I mean, he's a I, my son is named after Jensen Ackles. I have a wow. son called Jensen because Gen- of Dean Gen- Winchester. Jensen Button, mate. <laughs> no, <laughs> he not even spelled Button. that way. <laughs> but no, Dean Winchester <laughs> as a character, you he's know, his so good. humor, his purse, everything. About he's a larger than life character, isn't he? But he's he's so good. He's like proper loyal. He's very yeah. family, but um, what a beautiful man as well. Uh, a hundred percent. Maybe the maybe the most beautiful man of all time. Probably one of my maybe, favorite yeah. actors yeah. as well, Jeff yeah. Knuckles. He's yeah, amazing yeah. in The Boys. He's amazing in Supernatural. He's one of them that he's doing a, a quite a lot. He's come into a lot of British, yeah. uh, like UK comic cons yeah. at the moment, and it's always so tempting to go like get a picture with him, and go meet him. But he is expensive. Oh, to oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's talking like one hundred and fifty quid just to get a picture yeah. with him. But. You see, yeah. now, this was a hard one for me because you're a Supernatural fan, I'm assuming, as well. I am, yeah. I've not finished it, though. I couldn't decide. It took me a minute to make my mind up, but I initially was going to go with Crowley. Ah, oh, okay, nice. Because I love Mark Shepard. Yeah. He's the bloody king of hell. But I was yeah. like, no, Dean wins for me. Yeah. Did you, I've met at, at a Comic-Con, Mark Shepard. Like, I didn't, really? I didn't pay to meet him. I was literally walking through the crowd. No, I was stood... <clears throat> And I was just stood waiting. It was hugely busy, and he got, was getting escorted by like his oh. a- attendee or whatever. And he walked past me, and he he just I can't remember the, the interaction. It was so weird. Like he just looked at me and went, "All right," and I'm like, "Yeah, you." And he was just like stopped. I think he was taken back. Like like not being funny. He was just like, "All right," like, you know, like the the, <laughs> bl- the 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 nod of the head. Like, and I was like, <laughs> I think I was like, "Ah, yeah, you." And he was just like almost taken aback because perhaps because I wasn't like a, a oh my god f- like oh my god it's it's Mark <laughs> Shepard from uh, Supernatural. I was just like you know like you would to any bloke. He was like yeah I'm like alright yeah, how's sorry. it going? And he was, and then he just stopped and started talking to me. You see, it's funny you say that because like, I just call him it. It was I, just so random. I've had an experience like that. I was a uh, very first Lincoln Comic Con when he was at the showground, um, and I'd nipped to the toilet, and I'm stood there doing my business, and Chris Barry Holly from. Um, not Holly, but the um, Rimmer from, from Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf, yeah. Just walks in, stands next to me, flops it out, <laughs> looks at me and says, all right, mate. And I'm like, I'm having a wee next to Rimmer. <laughs> yeah, I had the same thing with Cat when we went. Did you really? J- John Jules. Jul- yeah, John, John, Danny John Jules. Danny John Jules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he was just, he, no, no one was going to him. I think there's a few people waiting for Chris Barry. He was winding the fuck out of Chris Barry. So he just stood in front of his, <laughs> like, in front of everyone and just chatting to anyone that went past. He was having a great time. Yeah. Off his tits on some in that lad. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Do you know what's the maddest thing about Danny John Jules? Obviously, everyone associates him with Cat. Mm. His role in Blade 2 
Can you remember yes. it? No. He literally plays like an action vampire he who's does. like an aristocrat. Oh, like, really? Aristocrat? Aristocrat. Aristocrat. <laughs> <laughs> I should have left that in so I was good that. Um, but it's so weird. It's like such a random role. Like, he's, it's so weird. Like, it, you would never, ever put them together. No, no, that is weird. No, You'll have to re watch it because I re watched. Um, Blade 2 oh, on yeah. the back of I've um, re yeah, the Blade yeah, yeah. movies Deadpool, over the past Deadpool week. Green. Yeah, yeah. Sound well. So we've learned that you do have a better taste. I do. That great some yeah. great answers there. Dean uh, Winchester is probably oh, but better than Fable. Yeah. Oh, mm. I don't know. Yeah. Good great choices answers. Well and done. you know, big fan of Formula One. <laughs> 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 he says that my other child's called Leia after Princess Leia. Yeah. Mm. I think it's cute you named your kid Leia. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely misspell it every time I go. Every, every single time. time. It's, it's going to get to a point where we get birthday and Christmas cards and I'll collect them because they'll just have random names in instead of her actual name. <laughs> right then, boys, we are coming close to the end now. So I just did a little quiz. Very easy. I just want to see who's got the best gaming knowledge out of the two of you. Oh, dear. Okay. This is. There's a couple of um, ones where I'm going to get you both involved. Um, but I just <coughs> thought it'd be nice just a couple of questions they are quite simple there's one or two harder ones but okay. I'd like to think you'd both smash this so I'm going to keep a little uh, score sheet alright uh, Chris you are the guest would you like to go first or second I'll go first okie dokie my spelling's horrendous I already can't <laughs> see what I said <laughs> okay what game released in 1958 is thought to be the first video game Pong won it it was Pong correct although apparently it's not it's some uh Tennis something or other. It's like Tennis for Two, it's called. And it right. was pre-Pong, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Ryan. Which 2006 games console pioneered the use of motion controls in its gameplay? Nintendo Wii. Correcto. Chris. Yes. In Mario Kart, what colour is the shell... That seeks out the player in first position. Blue. Hey, fucking is I fucking blue. hate a blue shell. <laughs> <laughs> the worst, aren't they? Honestly. We, we yeah. all play a game yeah. called a free game called Kart Ride Adrift that's a Mario Kart clone, and I have never raged so much in oh, my life than playing a free uh, game. Yeah, it's completely free. It's cross platform as well, so you can play with people on any console, but it is just so fun. And what's yeah. that called again? Uh, Kart Ride Adrift. And like all your cards have a special ability as well. No, like mine okay. puts like a bear on a robot bear that just sweeps from left to right and knocks players out of the way. So everybody hates me when I yeah. throw that out. Oh, I've never rage quit so badly as I'm playing Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario yeah. Kart is a banging game. Yeah, really. it it's is so irritating. I've got it on my Game Boy upstairs. I'm a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, and I still occasionally just whip it out and have a game. Oh it. yeah, it's so is. good. It is. It is. Uh, Ryan, you're not going to get this one, I'm afraid, because you don't play GTA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next question. Ryan, in GTA 5, what is the name of the medical marijuana shop purchasable by Franklin? Not a clue. Christian, I don't. Smoke on the water. Of course it is. Chris. Hello. Pocket, light, colour, advance, are variants of which video game system? Game Boy. I just gave him the answer, didn't I? Talking about my Game Boy advance. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> what the hell? That's not how you spell time, Sam. <laughs> uh, Ryan. Yes. Which COD instalment was released in 2021? You can have this one because you've got it dates. Which COD instalment? Mm-hmm. Which COD? <laughs> no idea. Um, mm. 2021. Mm-hmm. Modern Warfare. No, it was Vanguard. <laughs> no idea. I would have said Modern Warfare. Like as the well. remaster. Yeah. Like for I Warzone. thought it was the latest yeah. Modern Warfare. Never as well. played that. I stopped playing COD <laughs> after about Black Ops. I think. Yes, I did. And then until, until War- Black Warzone. Black Ops 3 was Vanguard. I'm looking forward to the new Black Ops, not going to yeah. lie. I think Black Tempted Ops 2 was the that. last one I played. Was it? I yeah. loved the third one. That was the first time I started playing seriously online. Right. Um, yeah. I just fucking. More bothered yeah. about zombies. I prefer. Cod Zombies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it does look good, the new one. Uh, Chris, what is the name of Master Chief's AI sidekick? Uh, Cortana. Yeah, correct. If I didn't know that, I'd Cortana. have been murdered. Cortana. Ryan, <clears throat> Skyrim is the fifth installment of what game series? Elder Scrolls. Correcto. Now you can get it on your fridge freezer, probably. 
Ah, this has worked out well, actually, because this, this one's for you, Christopher. Oh, okay. You can't get this one wrong. Which Pokemon is number one in the Pokedex? Bulbasaur. It is Bulbasaur. <laughs> Good knowledge. Good knowledge. I know far too many Pokemons. <laughs> Ryan, which Zelda game d- <laughs> debuted on the Nintendo 64 in 1998? Ocarina of Time. Correct. I can't believe you got that. I didn't yeah. think you'd get that. I was ready to jump in. I've never played any <laughs> Have you Zelda been? games. You know I never what? I never had a Nintendo in any shape or form. So I've I never not. I've never had access to that. I've like, never played world. a Zelda game. Have you not? I still to this day again when I get my Game Boy out, do occasionally play the first one. What was the first one called? Uh, for fucking out a link to the past, link to the past, or, or whichever one it is. Can, can I fuck finish it? I've got no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. I started playing one of the Breath of the Wild. Is it on the Switch? Yeah. That was really good. I think I spent about an hour of that on stream at some point, and it's kind of just sat in my backlog of games that mm. I need to go back and play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's, it's just massive. It's such an open world game that you can lose hours into it, and I just haven't had the time to invest in a massive open world game when I've got a supermarket to build. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> <laughs> I did a 12-hour bed watch once, and the person I did it with brought a uh, Switch and the new Zelda game. And I was like, oh, I've always wanted to play on that. And he went, oh, you can have a go if you want. And I played the thing for 12 hours. Amazing. <laughs> just sat there. It was uh, fucking insane. Oh, Not incredible. once did I go, do you want this back? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just played it. It was like, no, no, no. Uh, Okie dokie. Who did last do? It's me now. It's you now. Chris, which console was the first to use DVD technology? I would say the original PlayStation. Incorrect. Really? PlayStation 2. Yeah, I would have gone PlayStation 2. Oh, there were CDs, wasn't there, on the original PlayStation? I think so, yeah. That's mm-hmm. why they were so easy to um, pirate. One. Exactly. We all had a pirate man, didn't we? We did. A Puntland pirate Pun- man. The Puntland pirate man. <laughs> Puntland pirate man definitely didn't learn how to do it himself back oh. then. No, no. Uh, d- 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 Ryan. Yes. What is the main character called? In the Splinter Cell series. Oh. No idea. Chris? I'm going to hate it when you tell me because it's on the tip of my tongue. Go on. Sam Fisher. I was, yeah. Sam I did think Fisher. it was... I thought it was Sam, but I would yeah. never have... Again, another, ge- another game series I never played. I have yeah. played them. That's yeah. why it was on the tip of my tongue. Mm. I was like, I know it, but I can't think of it. Chris. Hello. Which console came first? Okay. GameCube, Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, or original Xbox? Wanna say Dreamcast. You would be correct. With Dreamcast. One of my favourite consoles that ever released. Never, I never, loved the Dreamcast. I never had one, but one Sonic Adventure did. We had, we had them all, didn't we? Yeah. Beautiful game. Yeah. That was one one of the uh, my earliest experiences with a Resident Evil game was on a friend's Dreamcast. They had, I think they had Resident Evil Three on it. It was code name Veronica. Ver- that was a Dreamcast exclusive. It was. It? Yeah, they had a code yeah. name Veronica. In fact, I played Code Name Veronica. I remember that nice. one. Nice. I've never played that one, but yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, interesting. What was that game on Dreamcast where you just played an Asian man that worked on a dock? Oh, Shenmue. Shenmue. That game was I've got all of them. They've, they've <laughs> all been, it was so good. They've all been remastered. <laughs> Have they? You just go yeah. home, eat There's some There's a third light, one now. Eat some, like, you know, pudding or whatever, and then go back to work and work on the docks. It work nice. on the docks. Nice. Yeah. It was know, doing what on the docks? Just, just moving, moving boxes. Pallets pallets nice. and shit. Yeah. Moving yeah. pallets. You had a fork, forklift race, and then yeah. at some point you took part in a 1v100 brawl and had to win. Well, Shenmue, mate. Shenmue. <laughs> and you earned money, and you just put all that in a machine to get one of them canisters to try and collect all the collectibles out of it. Oh, was it like a Coke can? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was banging that game. Now I want to go home and play Shenmue. <laughs> Ryan, which came first? Crash Bandicoot or Spyro the Dragon? <sighs> Ooh. I would go Crash. Correct. Yeah. I'll give you an extra point if you can guess the dates. The dates? The, the, the years. The years. <coughs> Oof. One per year. I uh, have no idea. I'm just going to go random. Crash yep. Bandicoot 96. And Spyro? 98. Two points. <laughs> you fucking, you're such a dick. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> you are such a dick. How was, he does that? that? That was just pure <laughs> guesses, honestly. I had no idea. You know, for the other ones, I normally know. I normally know <laughs> what the answers are, but... Yeah, well, you know what? Really weirdly, that has put you in tie. Yeah. No way. So there's two questions, and you're both going to answer these. Okay. So name the first. Oh, sorry. 
Name the six games inducted to the first video game Hall of Fame in 2015. So you have three guesses each. So in 2015, the video game Hall of Fame came out. Six games were inducted. Instantly. Instantly. So Chris, you have three guesses. Oh, God. In 2015. I, I generally don't know on this. Um, I don't know. Do you go, like, classics? I'm going to say go? something Mario. There's got to be a Mario game in there. There probably would be, but I wouldn't know exactly which one. So the original Super Mario Brothers, I would say. That is one. Tetris. That is I two. would have said Tetris, yeah. Pokemon? Incorrect. Okay. Ryan, you have three guesses. There's four more to get. In 2015. Mm-hmm. See, I would, you would think something like, like Minecraft would be in there, but does it go in instantly as a classic? Yeah. Is that too... I'm going to go Minecraft as one. Incorrect. Probably a bit too, too soon. Um, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I bet the Legend of Zelda <clears throat> is. Um, bloody hell! It's mm. hard, isn't it? Yeah, there's so many games though. <coughs> Pong. Pong. Correct. Yes. <laughs> nice. Pong was in there. Random. So. We had classics such as Pong, Tetris, Super Mario Bros, Pac-Man, yeah. oh. World of Warcraft. Okay. Yeah. And then obviously Doom. <laughs> yeah. Really? Doom, wow, Doom okay. would make sense. It was mm. massive when it came out. It was like yeah. first of its kind. Yeah, true. Chris is up by one point. Oh, dear. It'll all going so, wrong now. If you get this next one, Ryan, you're tied. And I've not got a <laughs> bonus question. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll flip a coin. In 2015, Carrie Swidecki, you know Karen Swidecki? B- big fan of hers, aren't you? Who? <laughs> Karen Swidecki, she broke the world record for the longest video game in marathon. How long did she play for in hours? Closest gets to the point. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go 52. 52 hours. I'm going to go 53. <laughs> oh, he's a good one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I my... no clue. <laughs> that's my brother. Chris gets the point. It was 138 hours. Oh, she played I... video games for five and a half days. Did she get with no break? No break. Well, she well I'm assuming th- she would have had, like, toilet, toilet breaks, breaks and, and food and stuff, food yeah. And, stuff, but... and I'll, yeah, what, like 15-minute <clears throat> intervals or yeah. something, probably? See, I did 24 hours and wanted to end my own life afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that twice now. I still quite enjoy them, to be fair, 24 hours. King Kennedy's days. doing 39 hours this weekend <laughs> for his yeah, 39th birthday. Ah, I see. I was going to ask. That's about, I was going to yeah. say that's a bit of a random number. Yeah. But... Right, well, that's it. <clears throat> ah, I enjoyed that. that. Yeah. That's the episode. Um, Ryan, praise him. <clears throat> Thank him for coming on. I don't want to do it. Yeah, you can't, can you? I um, think you should. I think it. I think it'd be more. Bring himself to I be think nice it'd to be me. More meaningful. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You could, you could, come on. <laughs> I've spent 36 years <laughs> <in this world laughs> not saying nice things to him. I'm not going to start. It's now. time to change. You know. No, because this. If I've ever done it before, I can deny ever saying it. I can't because this. Yeah, is what we want. We want. We want this proof. <laughs> show the, show the world that you've grown as a person. It's not happening, Ryan. Do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming on, Chris. No worries. Thank you for having me. I've been wanting to come on for a long time. And yeah. It was either now or never. No, it's nice to finally meet you in person after watching all your streams because I really like following you on <laughs> on Twitch, unlike Papa Roast 88 because don't Thank you, and him. I wish you all the best when your little one comes along. Thank you very much. Get ready for no sleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Sam, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I think that's justified. <laughs> uh, we don't <laughs> swear on this podcast, <laughs> actually. <clears throat> so, yes, uh, what, what's your name on Facebook, uh, Instagram, no, Twitch again? It's Puntland, Puntland Pirate. So everyone, go follow Poundland Pirate. No. <laughs> Knew follow, it was coming. Go follow Poundland Pirate and then immediately unfollow him. Because <laughs> <you're not. laughs> Thank you very much for being on, Ryan. Um, what I would like you to do? No, nah, I'm not doing it. All right, peace. <laughs>